Good morning. I'm here with Farhad Hafezi from Geneva, Switzerland. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me here. I know you gave a great talk about the hormonal influences on corneal topography. Can you summarize for us what some of your findings have been? Well, basically, um, hormonal influences are something we just start to understand and start to pay attention to when looking at corneal topographies. What we have seen is that uh, basically two major factors come into play. One is estrogens, or better said, free estradiol in the serum, especially in late pregnancy. And the other factor might be uh, thyroxine or hypothyroidism related uh, changes in corneal topography. How have you found this information to be useful to you in your clinical practice? Well, it all started back in 2005 when I saw a lady that had had LASIK surgery in Mexico City in 2000. A perfect result, normal topography for four years until she became pregnant and then she showed ectasia, signs of ectasia coming up. We cross-linked her, she stabilized for three years and then she decompensated again in her second pregnancy. And this, this arose the question to us, what factor can change the biomechanics of the cornea in a way that, that can have the tor cornea and the topography decompensate even years after LASIK. So how does this affect the way that we screen patients for a refractive surgery? Are there different implications in pregnancy or in thyroid disease that we should be aware of? Um, I think so. On a long term scale, yes, because um, I do not talk about a totally normal topography where there is no doubt about the biomechanical stability, let's say, in the case of refractive laser surgery before and after. But I'm talking about borderline cases, cases where as a refractive surgeon you would say, okay, thickness is still okay, there is a slight posterior elevation but it's still in the norm, etc. In those cases, um, the hormonal status might indeed be a secondary factor that can change the fate of the cornea. And in the case of keratoconus, we've also seen major topographical changes of keratoconus during late pregnancy. Well, that is such an interesting uh, set of data and I'm so glad that you presented on it. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you.